<clears throat> well, we just got one of Christine's little colts caught here this morning. And we've been kind of herding them into a 12 by 12 pen so we can get close. And kind of like that. There. There we go. I'll just kind of scratch on her a little bit. Come out. Just revisit. Give her what you think she can handle. I want her standing quiet for me. And I want to remind her that rope can go over her back. And uh, it can flip up and down. It can flip up and down. And just give her what you think she can handle. Don't just sit here and go like this until she moves. Just reintroduce it to the other side. I might cheek her here. Try to keep myself from getting kicked or something. There we go. There, just one time, two times, three times. There, just try to keep that half a pound of pressure on your lead rope. There, just let her feel it's coming. And that her best choice she can make is to stand still. Good, good. If we can keep from overwhelming them. Just getting her a little more excited, but that's okay. As soon as she understands, what can I do? I'm gonna to try to recognize that moment that arrives that her feet stand still. Almost there. And there you go. Wasn't that better? Uh -huh. Good. But I want her to see and feel that my eyes go to the hip before I ever swing that rope. So every time I swung that rope there, I was looking, showing, swinging, and then striking if I had to. See, she's kind of got that figured out already. I'm not going to ask any more of you there. So if my eyes go to your hip and I show you this rope and I twirl this rope and your hip moves, good. I don't want her afraid of this rope, so if, if she sees it twirling, I want her to believe I'm not going to do anything to it. But if I look and I show her that rope and twirl it, I am going to tap on her if she needs it. So if they get a little hung up here and she had a habit of wanting to go to my left, her right. So I said, hey, go to my right, right there. So now I can start to tell her, when I point to my right, you're better off there stepping to the right. Okay, if I look towards your hip, if I look towards your hip and look at me, swing your hip around and look at me. There, I'm not really pulling on her face here. And she, when your hip swings away, there. I'll kind of step up the heat a little bit there. So when she feels a little bit of tension coming forward, there, I want her coming forward. Forward pressure. I want her to seek softness in the lead rope. There. There. Forward pressure, or it comes to your ribs. Very good. There. So now if she went to pull back, she'll feel some resistance, but not a lot. Back up. Now there's a little tension on the rope there. There, I want her to seek some softness in the rope. So if I can just stand right here with her, she knows she's stuck there. And while they're tied up, you get yourself one of these here Craig Moore lead ropes. It's all mule tape. It's real soft and smooth and slick. Here, let me give you a little massage there. Very good. Better feel a little rope massage going on. She's not stuck here. She can get away if she wants to. Yeah, little rope massage. Then maybe kind of grab her cheek there and maybe take that hind foot away for a second. There. Right up in her flank. Take a hind foot. Ooh, very nice. Take a hind foot. Very good. 
Good girl. If she pulled back, see, she could take all that rope with her with very little resistance. The last things I want to do with her here, ooh, baby, ooh, baby. There, when she got soft, I just want to touch that mouth. There. I just want to massage that corner of that mouth a little bit. There. When she gets quiet, I'll quit. So I don't do it for so long that she hates it. I do it for so long that she can learn that she can get release and relief herself. There you go. Nummy, nummy. Nummy, nummy. I'll just massage it. Tell how smart she is. And what I want to do is make sure right there. That's where I'm going to end because it kind of split her lips and I got my finger kind of rubbing inside her lip a little bit. So tomorrow she'll remember that and think about doing it better.